Hi everyone and welcome to your Back to Basics Pilates class. Now if you're doing this as part of the January challenge, we're coming up to the end of week three. So I really wanted to use this time to come back to ourselves, to come back to our form and just focus in on those fundamentals of Pilates. So whenever you're ready, meet me in the middle of your mat and we will get started. So coming into a seated position, crossing your legs, sitting up really nice and tall, we'll start by finding that correct posture. So rolling your shoulders away from your ears, lengthening through the crown of your head, drawing your ribs down towards your hips, and then drawing that belly button back towards your spine. You can move the fleshy parts of your your glutes out the way so you can really feel those sit bones grounding down into the mat. And then we'll just start by taking a few deep breaths. So if it helps, you can place your hands on your ribs. You can close down your eyes, you can keep your eyes open, whatever feels best for you. So you can take an inhale through the nose, feeling the rib cage expand. And then exhale out through the mouth, feeling the ribs drawing down towards the hips. Again, inhale through the nose, expanding through the rib cage. And then exhale, contracting the rib cage back in, drawing the ribs down towards the hips. Okay, a few more like this will start to connect to the core now. So inhale through the ribs. Exhale, start to draw that belly button back towards the spine. Again, inhale. Exhale out through the mouth, drawing your belly button back towards your spine, really connecting into your core. Last one like this, inhale. And then exhale. Good work. From here, placing your hands down on your knees, I want everyone now to close down their eyes. Just focusing in on your posture making sure that everything is where it's supposed to be. Connecting into your core. So focusing on that mind to body connection. Just noticing how you feel in this moment. And through today's session, I really want you to be mindful of each movement we go through. So really focusing in on your form not just going through the motions, not using resistance. Each movement is slow and controlled. Everything comes from your center. We're gonna keep everything slow and controlled today as everything should be slow and controlled, but really gonna slow it down, focus in on that form, in on our breath, and just be mindful, as I said, with each movement that we're doing today. When you're ready, slowly start to open your eyes. We're gonna flip over onto all fours. So your hands are gonna come underneath your shoulders, knees are underneath your hips. And we're gonna start by taking a few cat cows. So taking an inhale, opening up through the chest. And then exhale, round through the spine, tuck your chin to your chest. Two more like this, inhale, open through the chest. And then exhale, round through the spine, tucking your chin to your chest. Last one, inhale. And exhale, drawing that belly button back towards your spine. And then coming into neutral. From here, you're going to send your right leg away from you. Along the mat, pointing through the toe, making sure that your hip is down towards the mat really lengthening out through that leg. So I want you to imagine that I'm there with you and I'm pulling your leg slightly further away from you. From here, you're gonna lift that leg up, tap it down. Exhale to lift, inhale, lower down. Squeezing the glute at the top, making sure that you're not shifting your weight into that left leg. Weight is balanced. Looking towards the edge of your mat, having a really long spine. Just two more here. Really slow and controlled. On this last one, just hold that leg lifted. From here, you're gonna extend your left arm long. You're gonna tap both your toe and your fingers down and lift. 
lower and lift. Focus here is I don't want you to dump into your low back. So as you lift your hand up, you're not lifting it too far, you're not dipping into that low back. You're making sure that your ribs are connected down into your hips. Core is switched on. Just making sure that we're protecting that lower back. Just three more here for two. Last one, just hold the arm and the leg lifted. Make sure that your shoulders are down into your back. From here, you're gonna bring your elbow into your knee and then extend everything long. Find that length and space. Bring it in, extend. Just four more here for three, two. Keep that core switched on, last one. And then drop the hand down, drop the knee down. Give me a cat cow, so inhale, open through the chest. And then exhale, round through the spine. Good work, coming back into that neutral spine. Same thing on the other side, so your left leg is coming out long this time, pointing through your toe, finding that length and space. Exhale, lift the leg up, inhale, tap down. If you have sore wrists, you can come down onto your forearms. Again, make sure that spine is nice and long. Sending the mind to the muscle that you're working, so we're working into the glutes now. Also being really mindful of your core. Just three more here. For two. On this last one, hold it lifted. Extend your right arm out this long, making sure that you're keeping your shoulder blade down into your back. Tap the hand and the toe down, lift, lower down, and lift, keeping that rib cage where it is, try not to flare and dump into the low back. Lower down and lift. Just three more for two. On this last one, hold it lifted. You're gonna bring that right elbow to your left knee, extend it out, bring it in. Extend, find that length and space. Keeping it nice and slow. Just two more. Last one, hold the leg and the arm out. You're gonna place the hand down, step that foot back, and then I want you to step back into a plank. Hold it here. You're gonna go into knee tap, so you're gonna tap your right knee down. Lift, tap the left knee down, and lift. Keeping those hips where they are. Try not to have them too high or too low. Everything should be in one long line. Just four more for three, two. Last one, hold it here. We're gonna go into slow mountain climbers. So you're gonna bring your right knee into your chest. Send that leg back. Opposite leg comes in and back. Inhale to bring the knee in, exhale, send it back. Just four more for three, two. Last one, hold that plank, drop the knees nice and wide and push back into your child's pose, well done. Taking a few deep breaths here. Really walking those fingertips away from you, stretching through the back. And then shifting your weight forward, you're gonna to come to lay on your side. So laying on your left side body, our right leg should be on top. Laying all the way down, so resting your head on your arm. You're gonna bend your knees into a 90 degree angle. Your heels should be in line with your hips. Sending that top hip away from you, creating a little gap underneath your ribs. Bringing your ribs down towards your hips so you're not flaring through that rib cage. Core is switched on, shoulders, oh, shoulders are down and back. Squeezing your heels together. We're gonna go into clams to start with. So you're gonna open that top knee up, lower down. Exhale to lift, inhale, lower down. Again, really small movement here, but focusing in on your form. So you're not rocking the hips back as you open. 
keeping the hips nice and still squeezing the glute at the way on the way back lower down lift and lower just five more here for four three two on this last one just hold it lifted squeeze that glute even further really pushing that knee back and lower it down from here you're going to make sure that your back is in line with the back of the mat and then you're going to bring your feet forward to the front corner pointing through your toes making sure that your heels are together so slightly turning out through your hips knees are turned out from here you're going to point through the toe you're going to lift that top leg up and you're going to flex that foot to bring it down lifting that foot up pointed flex to come down inhale up exhale to bring it down i really want you to add that resistance into your leg as you bring that heel down so squeezing the inner thighs to bring that leg down inhale up exhale to bring it down again not rolling off that hip and this is really slow so I don't want you to fling that leg up it's not a call on me music video really slowly bringing that leg up squeeze it back down try not to let go of that core just three more for two last one and release it down okay bringing your legs in you're going to come up into a mermaid stretch if you have the space i'm kicking walls so coming up into that mermaid pose and then bringing yourself over stretching over your legs keeping that chest nice and high and then coming all the way down stretching through the side of the body and again pushing yourself up and bringing yourself down one more like this inhale come up and then exhale dive yourself all the way down really stretch through that core send that hip forward and then release so flipping onto the other side coming down to lay on your right side body this time hand is extended away resting your head on your hand making that sure that your shoulders are down and back ribs aren't flared so your ribs are down towards your hips belly button is back towards your spine heels are squeezing together and they should be in line with your hips from here you open up through that knee lower down so it's just the knee that opens up lower down as i said earlier try not to rock off your hips if it helps imagine that your back is against a wall and you can't rock yourself back I really want you to resist that leg on the way down. So don't just let that leg fall down. You open up, really resist it back down, squeezing your heels together. Inhale up, exhale to come down. No, I said that wrong. You exhale up, inhale to come down. Or sometimes the breath work can just be a little bit confusing. Do not worry, that will come with time. If you just focus on breathing, in your own time, in your natural breath, that's absolutely fine. As long as you are breathing, just try not to hold your breath. Just four more here. Yes, guys, you can do it for three. Really squeeze that glute at the back for two. Last one, hold it lifted. Squeeze that leg back even further. Push the knee back as far as you can without rocking off your hip and lower it all the way down good work okay making sure that your back is in line with the back of the mat extending your legs out to the diagonal again point through those toes turn your feet out so your heels are touching turning out through that hip you can have either have your hand placed down or if you want a challenge you can have the hand behind the head wherever feels good for you so from here pointing through the toe you're going to lift that leg up flex the foot to come down so point the toe to come up, flex to come down. Again, adding that resistance, so you're resisting that leg up, flex, resist that leg down, squeezing the inner thigh. 
left and lower. Try not to let go of the core. See, I was focusing on my core then and I wasn't focusing on my feet. Trying to think of all the points. Sometimes we get confused and that's fine. Just really focusing in on your form today. Just two more here. Try not to collapse into your hip. Last one. Really resist that heel down. Squeeze the inner thighs and release. Okay, coming up into that mermaid pose. So bringing your legs into a 90 degree angle, stretching yourself over and then lowering all the way down, stretching out through the side of the body. Two more like this, just enjoying this active recovery. Last one. and stretch it out find that length and space through the arm and then coming up okay from here flipping yourself around onto your glutes you can lower yourself onto your back feet are placed down into the mat hands are down by your side really pushing your triceps into the mat you're going to push yourself up through your heels so you're going to tuck your pelvis under it's like an ice cream scoop so you're tucking your pelvis under squeezing your glutes together ribs are down towards the hips pushing the hips up to the ceiling making sure that your knees are in line with your heels if they're not you can walk them in slightly and then really slowly melt your way down onto the mat one vertebra at a time last one roll those hips up so tuck that pelvis under scoot the pelvis up connecting into that core again so making sure your belly button is back towards your spine shoulders are down and back opening up through the chest you're just going to lower the hips down lift lower and lift tiny little tucks of the pelvis here just five more for four three two last one hold the hips lifted from here you're going to float that right leg off lower down float the left leg off lower down so you're bringing your legs into tabletop i want you to try and keep your hips nice and lifted so if it helps you can place your hands on your hips to make sure that you keep your hips nice and high just peeling one foot off at a time connecting into that core making sure you're not dipping into that lower back so really tucking that tailbone under just four more for three two last one and roll those hips all the way down good work hug the knees in okay what last thing here and then you are done so placing the hands down the hands come behind your head you're going to take an inhale to prepare exhale you're going to curl yourself up into your abdominal curl you're going to bring your hands forward bring the hands back behind the head lower down so you exhale lift inhale bring the hands out exhale bring the hands in and lower down making sure your elbows stay nice and wide as you bring them back behind your head again focusing in on that core connection just noticing how your body's feeling. If you are feeling any areas of tension anywhere, just send your breath to that area. Not long left. Just two more. On this last one, I just want you to hold your hands out, face your palms down to the mat, and I want you to start pumping your arms going into your hundred. You can either stay here with your feet down, or if you want a challenge, imprint your lower back into the mat, float your legs into tabletop. Or if you want to go into the full movement, squeeze your heels together, send the legs out, turn your knees out slightly, hold your legs to a 90 degree angle. 90 degree, 45 degree angle, that's what I meant. Just bump in and out. So inhale for five, exhale for five. 
inhale two, three, four, five, exhale two, three, four, five. No matter where you are, keep it going. If your feet are down, if your feet are in tabletop, or if you're in the full movement, just five more for four, three, two, last one, and hug those knees in, rock from side to side, great work everyone. Rock and roll your spine up to seated, coming into a seated position, we will just finish with a quick side stretch, so bringing your right hand up overhead, exhale, bring yourself over, stretching out through the side of the body, making sure that both sit bones stay down into the mat, open up through the chest, and then coming up, left hand comes up overhead, and lean yourself over to the right, again making sure that both sit bones are staying down on the mat, opening up through the chest, and then coming back to centre. We'll finish class as always with one last deep breath together. So just rolling your shoulders away from your ears, dropping the hands down, taking an inhale, and then exhale, drop your hands down through heart centre. And you are all done. Great work today everyone. I really hope you enjoyed just focusing in on yourself, on your form, on technique, and in on your breath just coming back to those fundamentals and the basics of Pilates. Like I say, I really hope you enjoyed this workout. If you did, don't forget to subscribe so that we can work out together again. And if you are doing this as part of the January challenge, I'm so proud of you for getting this far. We really don't have long left to go now. So keep pushing, you've got this, and I will see you on the mat again tomorrow.